Yeah. Item number 18, communication 12-17, presentation of the 2012 Carl Knight Award to Mary Aye. Comford. I know, look at how quickly I move from one spot to the <laughs> other. Look at all this. We have lots of company today, and um, we are here for such a great, great thing. So um, I'm going to just sort of give you the basics and then invite different folks to say a few words. Um, so the city council took over um, the Carl Nide Award winners a couple of years ago. The mayor's office did it for years. Um, this is our 20th year of doing the Carl Nide Award. And um, as part of that process, we got a committee together. And before I forget, because I don't want to be remiss in that, is the committee members um, who worked on this, Nia Vang, Sherry Moore, Trudy Maloney, Ellen Bialis, Zandi Iverson, and myself were the committee who sort of sent out all those weekly reminders um, with dancing M&Ms and everything else. We made a really big deal out of it because it's, it really is um, an honor. So a big thank you to um, those um, committee members who really helped create a lot of interest. We had so many great applications, and I know that you never get to see them, Mayor, and I never used to either, which is why I wanted to be on the committee. Um, we should be so proud of the folks who work for the city of St. Paul because although we are honoring Mary today, um, what it reminds us is that there are just, it's a hard decision because there's so many um, terrific folks. So we sent out all this, we got a bunch of applications, and then we had our selection committee. And the selection committee members, some of whom are here, and I'd like um, for you to stand, besides all of us on the regular committee, we had, um, we decided to take the five previous um, Knight Award winners and they became part of the committee. So this year it was Larry Zangs, Bonnie Wakefield, Mark Finken, Vince Gillespie, Linda Crosby, and then we have a couple of labor representatives, Robin Madsen and Marcy Schillinger. So um, those are our committee members and um, I'm going to ask, it just so happens that Mary's council member, Mary is also a St. Paul resident. Um, her council member is Council Member Tolbert, so he's going to say a few words and then we'll sort of move it around from there. Council Member Tolbert. Well, thank, thank you, and I'll be brief. I just, um, you know, I think many of us go into public service because we want to make a difference in people's lives, and I haven't had the opportunity to experience um, what Mary's done firsthand, but I know from what I've read and what I've heard from other people that she really has made a difference and she really exemplifies being a true public servant. And I'm just proud that she's in the constituency that I represent. Um, we have a great neighborhood, and she's a great part of that neighborhood. So congratulations. And I'm going to ask Robin Madsen. Um, and I think Robin, much to our chagrin, is retiring. I don't get that a bit. Um, but Robin has, um, as a um, union representative from AFSCME, has always been really an important part of this awards ceremony, so we always ask um, that you say a few words about um, city employees and this award in general. So okay. Robin Madsen. Thank you. Good afternoon, and Mary, I am so glad to be here for you. Uh, it is true, I have been part of this award since its inception. And when it first started, it was sponsored by the labor unions of St. Paul. And so we had people from the labor unions that did the selection. So I've been part of every single one of the selections. And let me tell you, we have some of the most fabulous employees ever. When you read these things, which as Kathy says, you never will, um, they are just so outstanding in that they do such good work every day at work. And it's when they leave, they do this entire second shift, if you want to call it, of wonderful volunteerism, which is exactly what Carl was all about. So I am extremely proud this year to have Mary Comfort be the winner because she is from the libraries, which is where I work. And uh, it's just a wonderful award. And I want to thank Kathy for letting me speak. There you are. <laughs> thank you. And we are also honored. Um, Carl had the good sense to marry a really terrific person. And um, Joanne Tromsack Knight has been part of this process for all of its 20 years as well. And in, in many respects, reminds us why we do this every year. And so we're going to ask Joanne to say a few words about um, just why this is such an honor and a little bit about Carl so that we can all aspire to be better. <laughs> I know. No pressure. 
Yes, Carl, <laughs> passing on. Remember why you chose me. <laughs> and uh, Thune, I'm so glad to see you, Council Member Thune, smiling because in the day when Carl was city council member, you sat opposite each other. And the city cable gave me a copy of the last council meeting where the two of you did a little banter back and forth, all for the common good of the city. <laughs> so this award. In 1991, November, Carl Nied was elected to the city council. And Carl always had three points. Whenever he opened his mouth, there were three points. So what he wanted for the city was that it be safer, stronger, better. And Council Member Bostrom is uh, nodding his head because he was on the committee to get him elected. And he was elected in November. In January, he took the oath of office. And in May 8th, he passed on in his sleep. And a couple months after that, I got a call from Council President Bill Wilson and the council member, Marie Grimm, who took over Carl's term, saying that the employees wanted an award in Carl's honor, that the way they wanted to remember him is the way he was with people. Always they were number one, and I remember when he would do his campaigning and he'd come home and he'd say, Joanne, the people are so good. So that's what this award is about, remembering the goodness of the people. And the award highlights the exemplary work of an employee and honors their involvement in the community. That's where I found Carl all the time, in the community. And when he got elected, I got to have him at home because he had to give up some of his community involvement. On behalf of his family, this is the first year that, that they're not able to be here, I say, Mary Comfort, congratulations. We are so thrilled. And as I said to you on the day of the surprise visit when the mayor and I came to your place at Rondo, community outreach library that we were so pleased that you were shocked because that's what we like to do at this surprise visit and I never see the other nominations and I'm so glad because I can rejoice fully in the choice that they made and Mary congratulations we celebrate with you today So at this time, it's not a surprise anymore, Mary Comfort is our 2012 Carl Nide Award winner. And so um, for the official presentation, um, we always ask the mayor to do the honors, um, again, to sort of raise the, the level of this. And so we'll ask that Mary join us uh, for the official presentation by Mayor Chris Coleman. Mayor. Council members and uh, guests and Mary, I am so pleased and honored to be here as I was uh, a couple of weeks ago when we got a chance to go out to Rondo and to surprise you a little bit. Uh, not surprisingly, when we were trying to get your attention, you were on the phone, I believe, aiding someone uh, as you were wont to do. And so we had to wait a little bit, uh, but we were able to, uh, to join your husband and, and others and particularly your colleagues who have come to know you so well and come to appreciate all of your many gifts, uh, but not the least of which is your incredible uh, sense of service to others. Uh, and I think that, as has been mentioned about Carl, uh, it was his many community actions, uh, many community activities that really distinguished him, not just his service on the council uh, that uh, was cut too short, but it was all of the things that he did. As a matter of fact, Kathy Lantry and I were gathered a little bit earlier and we were kind of laughing about Carl and re reminiscing about Carl, Santa Carl, uh, coming to their house. And, um, and I said, you know, for me, Carl was always the, the guy that scared the hell out of me at the, at the corn feed. Because uh, <clears throat> he was always barking out orders for the vental corn feed. And uh, he had that deep voice that, uh, you know, as a younger kid, I was, it, it scared me. But then I came to know him, John. So... Uh, I, I think uh, I was thinking about Mary's name, and it's just it's, a, it's only about one consonant off, uh, because it's really Mary Comfort uh, would be the perfect thing, you know, like the guy named Bird who was the head of the Audubon Society or the 
the tailor who makes clothes, you know, you know, John Taylor that makes clothes or whatever. What you do, Mary, for so many members of our community is provide comfort. Uh, I'm particularly impressed by your work with the crisis nursery. Um, I just think that a person that has the, uh, the capacity in their heart and in their, their soul to be able to do that, to provide a, a, a comfort in a time of need in a child's life like that is just amazing. Um, just to, <clears throat> uh, to kind of list very quickly some of the things that, that Mary has been involved in. Tuesday story time, story time in the community, uh, the Green Bookshelf Program, Youth Services Council, uh, every one of these has a, a paragraph attached to them that we could talk about. The Early Literary so Council, the Early Reading Summer Reading Program, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Wakanja. Wakanja Trainer, uh, listening, listening House Volunteer, Faith-Based Community Volunteer, uh, Crisis Nursery, as I mentioned, uh, Child and Youth Mentor, Storytime Volunteer, Northern Ireland Youth Exchange Program Volunteer. Um, I, I, I could go on and on and on, uh, and I think it's just amazing to me that, um, that you have continued to do this while serving the City of St. Paul as an employee um, and reminding people of what, how, why the city is so great, because it is all of us that come together to serve the community, to, to serve the City of St. Paul, uh, to be so much more than is required of them, but to be a, a full and active and engaged partner in all that we do. Mary, uh, if, I, if there was, there are so many people on that list, as a 20th recipient, uh, I am honored, first of all, that somebody from the library stepped up finally <laughs> to win this award, uh, but, but second of all, uh, I can't think of anyone more deserving of the Carl Nyard Award. Congratulations. This is, your, this is the one you get to come home. Thank you. 20th Annual Carl Knight Award presented to Mary Comfort in recognition of her exceptional performance as an employee of the City of St. Paul and for her caring involvement and commitment to the community. Signed today, uh, uh, awarded today uh, by me and uh, all the members thank of the you. committee, thank you so much for your work. It's beautiful, thank you. thank you. And then this is the one that hangs outside of City Hall. You can see there's some pretty impressive names on this list, Mary, and so yes. uh, you, uh, you, you joined very, very good company, including several of our, our past recipients that are here today. Uh, and this one will, will, will hang on the wall at City Hall. Thank you. And then that is the St. Paul Hotel. Oh. Um, as, as a way to, to honor you, has also donated a, a free night stay. That's wonderful. That's a, that's a fun. <laughs> Thank you. That's I know, such a beautiful And Ka hotel. Kathy said if there was for any reason you couldn't accept okay. that, <laughs> right. she would be prepared to. I know. Yeah. Yes, I know the way. Yes. Thank you. So go ahead. Thank you. Yes. Right. Thank you all very, very much. Um, I've been honored and humbled and in a daze um, since um, Mayor Coleman came to the Rondo Library. And I thank him very much. And my own council member, thank you. And um, Mel Melvin Carter, our councilman that watches over Rondo and the Promise neighborhood so well, thank you. And all of you that serve um, St. Paul. Um, I also want to thank um, Kit Hadley for making the library and environment that we learn to serve and um, make it a very, very important, well, it's, it's what we do is we serve the public. It's the really the 100% of our job. Um, so that's easy to do. Um, I want to thank my family, my husband, John, who when I do other things I couldn't do without his loving support, my daughters, Katie, and Aaron, and um, Aaron's boyfriend, Nick. And I just want to say one thing that um, I want to give credit for that we did is we walked the breast cancer Coleman, Susan G. Coleman, 60 mile walk. And that wasn't in there, but we all <laughs> lost toenails to prove it. But I couldn't have done that without my daughters or my husband being the um, coach and the um, banker, because you have to raise a lot of money. But I just want to mention the word Wakanja is a word from the Dakota language that means sacred being for children, but we're all sacred beings. We never grow out of that word. And um, Grit and Kathy are here, and Debbie who has helped with um, Wakanja, and again, um, um, Kit, it's an important part of the library 
we never know what happens before a patron comes in, and we don't know what happens afterwards, but we can do the best to serve them right when they're there and make it a, be a good experience for them. Um, I think Listening House, the Children's Home Society, Crisis Nursery, and Family Services. I thank Robin for, um, for her work in all of this. Thank you very much. Um, Sherry and Mary Ann, Mary Ann Berglund and Sherry Savage from the library that nominated me. Robin um, is, at Book, is at Bookmobile, at Rondo, and then with Alice um, Navy and Charlene McKinsey who run Rondo, which again, service is, is what they mentor to me. And then lastly, I would like to thank, it was mentioned that I have a faith community, and that is the Baha'i faith. And Baha'i, the word comes from the word Baha'u'llah, which we believe was the last messenger of God to unite all of us. But Baha'u'llah asked us to serve, and he said that work is worship. So I thank you all for letting me honor that. And be before we conclude, and Mary has to pay attention to this because um, although I will send a reminder email a year from now, but um, a tradition that started 20 years ago was that last year's winner brings flowers to Joanne. And so we have Larry Zhang's last year's winner to present flowers to Joanne. Let's go front and center. That's right, so you can get, <laughs> so you can on, get on camera. Drag me in here. Yes. Drag you in here. You've never been here before. Right. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, Joanne, yes. uh, present you with the flowers. And, uh, uh, hopefully, you're, they'll be light light up your day today. They definitely do. Yes. They definitely do. And these, well, they're so fragrant they will last. And you didn't know, but there are three for those three points yes. that yes. Carl always made. <laughs> yes. So a yes. different color. So yes. Larry, thank you so much. You're welcome. Hope you have a good year. Yes. Good. yes. Good. Great, and now um, all of you can adjourn and have, we have a little reception with cake. Council members will have to state we have a little bit of work to do and then we will join you when we are Great. done. Thank so you. Thank, thank you very much and congratulations. You know, if, if I might just say something briefly. When, when you said that, uh, when you said Mary's council member was here, I almost got up uh, because <laughs> she works in Rondo Library and I get a chance to see her just every time I'm in Rondo Library, which is pretty often, right? I'm there quite a bit. Yes, I'm. I'm overdue, and my daughters remind me that I'm overdue to feed my. We have wolves in the computers at the library. Oh, we're talking about how wonderful you are right now. <laughs> um, and she, I just get a chance to see her, you know, working with all kinds of folks, and you know, just helping people, and just always greeting folks in the library with a smile. Uh, and I just appreciate it so greatly. And, and you know, from from the perspective of all the things you do in the community, which I didn't even know about, but I uh, am thrilled to hear about. You know, I know that just based on seeing your work in that library day in and day out, th th there's nobody more fitting to receive this award. So congratulations and thanks for your work. <laughs>